Hey everyone, my name is Hexaberry. Today I'll be reviewing the 1963 Volkswagen Beetle with a tune shared by a viewer named Donkey. Thank you for the tip on this. Starting off with the visual customization, which will be lacking a bit for those who don't know how I am when it comes to classics. I like to keep things simple for certain cars, so for this I just went with a root beer color with a white siding. For the wheels and tires, I color matched the outside and stuck on some semi-filled white wall tires. Performance wise, we're sticking with B-Class. The induction is upgraded to the Elite tier. ECU is bumped up to Super tier. We will leave the stock fuel system, but upgrade the exhaust to the Super tier. Thankfully, the tune was left naturally aspirated and the nitrous was also upgraded to the Elite tier. For the chassis upgrades, the suspension is the Elite Road tier. Brakes are Elite, and the tires are also on the Elite Road tier. Drivetrain upgrades are as follows, the clutch is left stock, the transmission went from the stock 4 speed to the 5 speed, and the differential is upgraded to the Elite tier. I was going to apply some auxiliary upgrades but I was too broke to do so at the time when I recorded this, but I would go for the Elite grip and drift bonuses. Handling sliders, we went with 45% grip, neutral steering sensitivity, and maximum downforce. I left my traction control off and the drift entry set to off as well. Driving this thing, I first thought it was a prank from Donkey. The top speed is not the best being limited to around 130 miles an hour, but this handles almost way too good for B class and feels absolutely weightless. Donkey also mentioned micro drifts but I'm not too big on the need for speed unbound lore, so I'm just going to assume that means small drifts. I feel like I did a few of those to build up some boost and it did feel pretty nice. I would have appreciated more competition though for the time I recorded these. The lobbies were kinda dead though. I feel the Beetle is perfect for races that involve a lot of tight turns, but is gonna be weak in races with long straights where top speed is important. The car is perfect for cruising around and taking nice photos with, especially when you decide to run some car shows with your friends. This is the end of the video. If you want to see some more Need for Speed Unbound content, hit the like button and subscribe so I can afford a nice car in the future. Check out my website yippieskippy.com and buy my new channel logo merch and don't hesitate to follow me on Twitter. Links will be in the description, but thanks for watching and see ya.